Hi, I'm Brian Britton. I'm the Technical Director for the Western Canada Theatre, Sagebrush Theatre, and the Pavilion Theatre. Uh, right now, I'm just going to take you over a few different lights that we work with here in the theatre. And if it interests you, come on out and help out and learn more. So over here we have three kind of lights. One's a par can, one is called a Source 4 par, and one is called a Source 4 Leco light. Uh, a Leco light is kind of a general term for any light that's of this sort of configuration, it's good for an area light, uh, which washes a certain area on stage, or it's good for a special, uh, which is just a single light for a single purpose. It's it's a special light in the lighting plot. Um, so before I go into what these lights do, I'm going to show you a couple attributes that you can put into almost any light. One of them is gel. It's what we use to color our lights, and it's just a thin sheet of gel-like material, and it's actually gel. They pour this onto a sheet and then it hardens into this thin film that we can then put into a frame. Like so. And with this frame, we put it into the front of the light. Like so. And then the light itself is colored. So we'll get a blue light coming out of this. Every light that we have here in the theater can handle gel. Uh, they have the gel clips out front for safety so they don't fall out. And just like this one, some attributes can only be in some lights. Uh, most of the legal lights can come with a gel gobo holder, such as this. A gobo is just a pattern that you put in front of a light to create an image. Uh, this one can be a window, or if you're using it for a special area light, uh, you can put what's called a breakup into it. There's various kinds of breakup, uh, and what they do is they just add textured light to the atmosphere on, of your stage. So, in either concept, take the gobo, you set it into its frame, and you go over to the light, uh, the Source 4 accepts this kind of accessory, you slide it in, and then you're able to focus your light, uh, whether you want it to be a soft focus, which means it's blurred out, or if you want it to be a hard focus, which means you can see a crisp, clear image of it. So, now that we have the gobo in the light, I'm going to plug it into our tester circuit. Now, on the sides of this light, there's four tabs they go into shutters. A shutter shapes your light so that we're able to cut it into a certain size or a certain shape as per the lighting designer's request. Uh, this will cut into the edge of a set or it will intimately go into the uh, just a person's face or a full figure but this is how we're able to shape any of the lights and create the artistic vision being put forth. So we have our gobo, and we set in, and right now you can't see it at all uh, because it's blurred out because we haven't focused it yet. So in focusing it, we can bring it to a hard shape, or we can blur it out. Lights that don't have these attributes are things like park hands. You find these more in rock venues, so if you're going to see your favorite performer, do a show, there's going to be tons of these in any rock venue, and it's called a park hand. Uh, they're just meant for a, a lot of light output into one place. Um, there's not really anything special about these, it's just a lot of light. Over here is a more advanced version of exactly that. Uh, this is the source for for now. The source for for now gives you a couple of different attributes. Uh, now we can actually rotate the lamp inside by turning this barrel. And what that does is there on the bulb itself, there's little tiny lines that some people call the banana. Spinning the banana on a light goes back to the old style of this light, where it actually has a back of a bulb. So if you turn this, 
it's actually the direction that the light is on stage uh, because it comes out in a bunch of different rectangles so you can have it going stage left stage right or up stage down stage and those are some of the various types of lights we use at this theater